Hello, today I'll be talking about how to make a 2D style game in Core. So, first what you want to do is this free gameplay framework in here if you want to test any of these out. Or what I'm doing is I'm creating a new empty project. This isn't actually showing how to do all the mechanics, just for the camera to make it actually look like it's a 2D game, as opposed to making it actually function. It's still gonna be 3D, but it'll look 2D. So let's do this 2D camera tutorial. Great. Okay, so this is gonna be say I'll do top down and side scrollers, but to, first I'll do side scrollers. So let's do side scroller camera settings. And then what you want to do is you have the camera object. The name will vary depending on which camera settings you dragged in. I only recommend top down and side scroller. Third person will not work well with this. So what you want to do is set the orthographic box here. And then if we click play, we realize this looks kind of 2D. Not quite, so let's move this. Let's actually make this a bit more this and move it down a little. Ah, uh, okay, I see what's it's true. So it's like this. Okay. Now what the orthographic camera does is it doesn't actually so like the doesn't render depth. So if you have something in the background here. Me, like say, bookshelf, this background looks kind of 2D. Of course, the character is in 2D. You can check out my custom character tutorial on how to make a custom character, but it looks 2D, I guess. Let's say you drag in a table, this table here. You see, we have a table here, also looks 2D. For top down, we can just drag in the top down camera settings. Top down, but the issue here is, is that if we just me expand this again, is it, it can't tell it's not 2D. So, first things first is that you want to set the decent offset to negative 90. So, I think it's either negative 90 or 0, negative 90. And still, once again, not. 2D looking so we set to orthographic and boom we have a 2D looking it's not super 2D but it looks a bit more 2D than it did before. Of course you probably want to replace the pixel character or something other than the default character again. Let's drag in a cube for example it's here and let's change the material to wood and let's also maybe put a Table again. Except to a house. I think a house would actually demonstrate it a bit better as well. I'm thinking it may work. I'm not 100 sure. It may actually have to be designed differently for it to actually work really nicely. Let's set this to house or something. You see here we have this here. Let me set the Distance to 10,000 and the thousand. And I'm not sure it's not rendering the house. It's a bit weird, but as you can see here, it looks kind of 2D. I guess I'll do position offset. Let's do this to like 10,000 or something. I forget that's one one. Well, either way, I think you're kind of getting the idea of how it can actually make stuff look 2D. If I scroll this down to around 0.3, something of the like, to make it actually a bit smaller, to actually fit inside the default camera view. I have a nice little 2D house over here. Or let's say you want a castle. Then us this to 0 0.1, make it smaller so you can actually see it. And as you can see, that's not super nice, but these are just default models, so I'm really meant to look nice with the orthographic. 
One thing I do not recommend doing is let's say dragging third person and then set this to orthographic. This does not look pleasant, does it? As you can see. I mean, maybe the style you're going for, but I definitely do not recommend this style of camera. I would say my paint does look kind of nice, but it's definitely not 2D. And it's just, it's not 2D, so you have to really have it as a pop-down or high scroller camera. Maybe if you can figure another one, but definitely not movable, any of that sort. So you can see you have clipping if you set to this. So don't do a third person camera or first person camera. Only use it top down in side scroller. And that I hope this tutorial helped you figure out how to make a 3D star game in core. And enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.